So hello, everybody. It is a Thursday evening here in Texas or Houston, Texas, same damn thing. It is almost 930 in the evening. And of course, you guys normally do not see Donovan and I on here um, on Thursday evening. Uh, but there has been some unconfirmed, I do want to say unconfirmed news and reports that uh, Kevin Samuels, uh, the image consultant, some people say uh, relationship guru has passed on. Um, again, as, as I say, there's some unconfirmed reports, but we just want to have a little brief conversation about what we know. And some of the conversation is kind of surrounding his alleged passing, if you will. Uh, so before we get into that, Donovan would say, you all like to say hello and welcome to YouTube and uh, Facebook, the other side of the conversation. We're going to try to Get to as many as comments as you guys as we can tonight. We're not gonna be here on here that long because it's past my bedtime. <laughs> uh, but we did want to have a you know just kind of acknowledge it for what we know right now. So Donovan, what say you? And again, welcome to the Demetri K Show. Very very sad news. Uh, unconfirmed. Uh, Kevin Samuels, the prophet, the man that was telling it like it is. Even though a lot of women did not like what he had to say. There was sometimes there's truth into power. And like I said, you know, um, it's an unfortunate situation because this man was only 56 years old, which is in 53, my- 53, I think. 53, I'm sorry. Somebody, some of the sites said 56. Yeah, they're saying 56. Yeah, but uh, 53, but he, that, that's still in my age age wheel and stuff like that, which which I, what I want to say is you never know when, the you know, God or the spirit, whatever you believe is going to call you. We're not saying burn the candles at both ends, like live every day that is your last. But while you're here, you should- uh, do the, your best to be the best that you can be in society and do all of that. The one thing I do have to say is looking at some of the other pages and some of the comments from um, the ladies, I'm very shocked. The ladies, the disrespect, the one biggest redemption that we have, and I mean, Demetri, Demetri and I were talking about this before we went on air, is death. Everybody's redeemed in death because that's the ultimate price you're going to pay because you're never coming back. And this man was a father. He was a husband at one time. He was a son. He, he was a brother. And now he's, he's no longer here. Like him or hate him. You know, we got to give reverence and respect to those that are now passed on and our ancestors. Sorry about that. As somebody was calling me. Yeah, so, um, and I just kind of want to put this up from um, Revolt uh, News. TV. And as y'all can see here, it's a little bit cut off at the bottom, but it says controversial YouTuber Kevin Samuels passes away. Revolt Black News has confirmed from reliable sources that YouTube sensation and self-proclaimed relationship guru Kevin Samuels. And I apologize. Let me see if I can get to the bottom of that. Uh, has passed away today, um, May 5th. So again, they're saying it's reliable sources. And I also want to put up something else um, that I saw. Give me one second here. So this is, from what I understand, his one of his best friends. Um, I think it's one um, Anton. Don't give me the line. Anton Don Daniels. One Anton Daniels. As you guys can see here, it says, Kevin Samuels, rest in peace, my friend. You accomplished a lot in your limited time on this earth. I love you while you were, I loved you while you were here. So again, uh, this is supposed to be his best friend. And I did go on to this particular page just to see if it was there myself. Um, and it was there. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I hope it's not true um, because in spite of some of his views, and you guys know I was very vocal about um, some of his views. I didn't agree with a lot of things that he said, but I've also been clear that I think that he did say some things um, that were true. You know, I, I have said that, but even if I didn't like anything that he said, I think it's very vile and disgusting I that, that uh, I people... Like Donovan, let me put your mic on. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm trying right now. Uh, I think it's very vile and disgusting that people are celebrating um, his alleged death. I, I just like, was out cause I was working here at my desk and I just happened to scroll across and I was like, wait a minute. 
you know, because usually people put out a lot of rumors all the time and, you know, they always killing celebrities and different people on the Internet. And so I didn't really think too much of it. And then I started seeing a lot of action around. Then it was trending number one. And so I had reached out to a couple of people and we was all like, well, we're going to wait and see if there's a little bit more confirmation to it. And, you know, it sounds like it is now again, it doesn't sound like the family um, has said anything officially. I've seen from a whole bunch of reputable people, um, especially people who live in Atlanta because that's where he lived. Um, that, and so I saw somebody say that they called the hospital, I think it's Grady Hospital, if I'm not mistaken. And they did have somebody listed by the name of Kevin Samuels. And they said that um, that particular person, once he got to the hospital, he was already expired. So again, no official uh, confirmation, but from what it sounds like, and again, this is uh, allegedly his best friend, one of them that I have a, um, from his Instagram stories. And so this was on his uh, particular feed, if you will. So I don't know how he died. Some people are saying that it was a cardiac arrest, but you know I don't really want to put too much on that because we don't know and we'll never know until a coroner comes out with the official, if it's true. Because like I said, I'm hoping the man is not dead. I'm hoping it's a very you know, sick rumor that somebody who has nothing better to do has put out there, but we have seen, especially on Twitter, a lot of um, women and some men, but a lot of women who were just, it, it, it almost kind of makes you wonder who raised you because I don't care how you feel about somebody. You never want to celebrate um, in someone's death because you don't know when it's going to be you or when it's going to be somebody you know and love. And I also say, before I give it back to Donovan, I think we've entered into a space uh, in the world via the internet that if I don't agree with you, then I'm going to wish bad things on you. I want you to be canceled. And instead of just saying, you know what, I don't like what he or she is saying. I'm not going to participate in their lives or their comments or whatever. I'm just going to go about my business. But we've entered the space to where we are really wishing death on people we just don't agree with so donovan what say you and i'm gonna try to get to y'all some of y'all comments too yeah you know again we're, gonna, we're not going to be on here too long i've been reading the comments and a lot of people are, are you know are saying basically positive things in regards to uh people that have passed on into the ancestors and some of the things that we read as well so we'll get to some of those comments but Demetra, let me just ask you this between you and i <clears throat> kevin samuels sparked, and somebody said this in, in the comments, sparked a debate, something that was long overdue between black men and black women. Now, like it or not, you have to agree with some of the things he has said. There is an issue where, depending on how you look at it, ladies, are you guys, not all of you, so let's not get into that, but one of the questions he asked was, are you guys being realistic about the type of men you want to get into? Some of you guys got things of six feet and that's fine. But, but again, he, you know, he used numbers to prove some of the things that are unrealistic in, within our community. And, you know, what would you say, Demetra, in regards to, do you think him sparking this debate was more to wake us up or was it more to be divisive in your opinion? What do you think? I know, you know, you, you're not a big fan of his or anything, but like you said, you did agree with some things he said. Well, I just want to say this because I, I don't know how much of a conversation I want to have about his content right now. Um, Cause I don't know if it's really the, the, the time we can, if y'all want, but I don't know if it's really the time to have a conversation about, whether we agree with him or not, but no, I will no, say no. this at the yeah, end of the day, because you guys know, you know, Donovan and I, we do this a lot. I believe that people should be free within reason, you know, sure. to say what they want. I don't think people should be policed for their opinions. Now I've seen a lot of, you know, campaigns, if you, I don't know how much steam they got that people mm. wanted to cancel him, but I'm like, just don't watch it. Don't listen to it, but to try to cancel somebody because you don't agree with them, I, I, I just think it's gotten past silly season. And so 
Did I agree with him? Um, I know I, I largely I didn't agree with him. I agree with some of the things he said. Don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. I did not love his delivery, but at the end of the day, I I didn't I don't I didn't have to watch. You know what I mean? So right. Right. I, I I don't know. I I you know I'm a little lost for words because I don't really like to hear uh, that people have passed on, um, whether I like them or not. Yeah, and yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this is really devastating, you know. Just because I don't know, just I, I can't even put it into words. Because when you see somebody so polarizing, mm -hmm. and you hear something like that, and then you hear people celebrating that he's dead, I, I it's scary to me because I'm mm -hmm. like, where has the, where did this come from? Were you raised like that? Was mm -hmm. it like? Are you even if you're joking, like why? You know what I mean? So I, I'm I'm just a little bit uh speechless at this moment. Right, exactly. And you know, uh, you know, for me though, you know, I'm just saying I I, I think that he brought up a, a a subject that is long that was long overdue. And it really did address and it, it really opened up uh, a platform for other um bloggers and people to talk about relationships because before people weren't doing stuff like that. It also brought up the fact that uh, the problem within black men, you know, I mean, you know, not him particularly, but the other bloggers that are out there doing shows. And he used that platform, I think, you know, divisive, if you want to say it either or, as you know, Demetri will tell you guys, and I'm, I'm not afraid to shame, uh, ashamed to say this. I was a big um, uh, Tommy Sotomayor follower. You know, I liked a lot of stuff that, that he said. Did I agree with most of it? No, I didn't agree because I thought it was entertainment, basically. Uh, so, you know, just like the new black media, we are now talking as a group of people rather than regions. So I, I, I got to give him big ups because he did start a platform that opened up other areas for people to get, what, what would you say, counseling. Be, you know, like a, a free way of counsel, to be counseled. And it really made you think, like, you know what, maybe I need to go to counseling because in the black community, getting to go see a head doctor or something like that is almost taboo within our community. And now because of him and other uh, people out there, influencers, it is now good to go and get uh, help and uh, talk to a doctor in regards to our mental health. I, so I have to give him big ups for that, like him or hate him. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's uh, like I said, I'm gonna just keep saying I, I really do hope that it is not true. You know, I hope that it is not true because, like I said, you never want to. Um, I mean, whether we like it or not, he was part of the, the community. He was part of black media. He was part of the conversation. And you know, to your point, and I'm sure somebody else has pat pointed that out. I'm gonna try to continue to your comments that he did spark a conversation. You know. Whether we liked it or not, he brought some things uh, to the conversation, you know, and I think that we should get used to having conversations, even if we don't like what is being said, right? Because and Donovan and I talked about this before we came on here. Unfortunately, a lot of people do uh, participate in group think and that you think if we don't all think this way, then you're wrong if you don't but it's like if people are entitled to their opinions right now there's a whole host of people who will say that kevin samuels actually helped them men and women i've seen and heard both men and women say that but it's not up to us to say that they weren't helped or they didn't find value in you know some of the things that he said but i just think that we need to as a society come back and start having conversations where we could say, well, you know what? I don't like what you said. In fact, I absolutely hate it, but I respect it's your right to say it. And if I don't like it, I'm not going to waste time to try to get you canceled and this, that, and the other. I'm going to keep it pushing. And if I really feel a certain type of way about it, then I'll get my own platform to combat what you are saying. You know, I, I'll have another viewpoint, but to wish death on somebody is just, I, I'll never understand that at all. Well, let's get to some of these comments. And, you know, the, these guys are saying some really, really good stuff. And 
Some people, okay. you know, they're entitled to their opinion. They're saying how they feel about it. But all in all, it's pretty it's pretty positive. So again, I want to say hello to everybody on here, and I'm gonna to get to try to get to at least everybody. Uh, everybody's comment. And Hannah, how you doing? Hannah, actually, it was on your page on Facebook where I saw you. You kind of mentioned, you know, that you heard uh, he uh, was no longer here. So then I did go to Twitter and look, and I, I did see it. And so you say so uh, he sparked a debate. Let me get that. A debate is good. Some of the issues needed to be addressed. Men and women both can benefit from talking. Him personally, caustic and entertainer and opportunist, divisive, absolutely positive or negative effect on the diaspora. Only time will tell. I love it. And I, I that's actually uh, sums it up very nicely. And hello, uh, Midnight Marauder. How you doing? And uh, JJ, Speedy Thunder. You say, I hope it's a hoax. I do too. Selena, how you doing? He says, hey, Demetri Donovan. Although I don't care for Kevin Samuels, I hope and pray this is not true, as do I. Uh, Givetta, how you doing? A holistic lifestyle. You said he kept the Red Bull drink in his hand. That stuff will damage your heart in the long run. Yeah, all energy drinks. Um, and I, again, I don't know if that's what happened to him, but I, I try to stay away from energy drinks. It has no good effect on your body at all. Speedy Thunder, how you doing? He says, not a fan of his content, but not going to hate the man. Never um, was that person. Yeah, I don't. I mean, like, why, why be like that, right? Hey, Al, how you doing? He says, could it possibly be? Because of his comment about women 35 and younger, he's taking um, a break. And if he is dead, could it be because of all the Red Bulls he was drinking due to his health? I mean, all things are possible. Uh, I'm not a coroner, so I don't know. And we will never know until the official uh, report comes out. So I don't know. Yes, they're saying, you know, cardiac arrest. And I'm just kind of reading through some of these comments. Ray K, how you doing? I like the other name. K says... The Godfather still remains the truth, dead or alive. It's a reach at this point. Yeah, you know, um, what is it that they say? You can kill the man, but you cannot kill his ideas and his visions and, you know, all the other things that he had. And so, absolutely. Again, I'm hoping it is not true. And the Moody Blues, how you doing? It says, I'm not celebrating, but I don't care either. That's bad. No, I mean, it's, it's, your, it's, it's your right to feel how you want to feel. I just think there's this thing called decency that has uh, gone missing in our society. Yeah, it's your right to feel the way you want to feel, but I just always put myself in the shoes of somebody. Would I want somebody to celebrate my death or somebody I love that I, I, I wouldn't want that. So I try not to return things that I wouldn't want returned to me. And Tara, how you doing? And uh, Latrice, she says some things were true. Yeah, and I, I agree with that. And uh, Sam, how are you doing? He says, personally, I find it divisive. So you're saying this con content is divisive. And a lot of people uh, would agree with you. And Selena says, yeah, with all due respect, this content is irrelevant right now. Well, I mean, yeah, I get what you're saying as far as what I was saying, you know, whether I liked it or not. Yeah, I mean, I think there's bigger fish to fry at this moment and that he may, you know, not be here anymore. Curly Gurry says, I've heard him. I've heard of him but I never watched his broadcast and black pride. How you doing? He says, I didn't agree, but I can't wish this. Absolutely. And RLI, how you doing? He says, if you don't like someone, just don't watch simple. Yep. Black pride says, uh, death is no death. And let me get to some of these other comments. And Mr. D's news, how you doing? He says, I agree with some of the things Kevin used to uh, say, uh, he kept it real. And Gilbetta says, absolutely. Demetri K. I never, I never watched him. I agree. If you don't like something, someone says, just move on. Yeah. You ain't got to try to you know, be all angry and stuff about it. Just keep it pushing. Hey, Dr. Candace, uh, allegedly Kevin Samuels has uh, passed on. And uh, let's see here. Tanya, how you doing? Says, did he really pass away? And I know I'm, some of these comments I'm behind, so I'm going to try to get to toward the bottom because I know we've kind of answered some of the stuff already. And, and KJ, how you doing? Says, let's say the vested zealot, wow, passed away. Nobody in the chat would have one nice word to say about her. Oh, so that's somebody. Okay, the vested zealot, is that her name? Says um, nobody in the chat would have one nice word to say about her. I simply don't care about Kevin Samuels Rip, though. Yeah, I've never heard of uh, divested zealot. Um, I, I wouldn't wish death on anybody. I, I don't care how much I did not like them. And trust me, there's people that I simply just like, oh, but I don't, <laughs> I don't think that I would go that far and wish death because you know you got to what you wish on other people, you also wish on yourself. Uh, and karma is real. If people don't want to believe it or not, it is real. 
Yeah. And Will, he says, damn near all men thought the way he spoke, bottom line, including uh, the damn simps. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I talked to quite a few men who agree with him. Yeah. You know, that, you know, the funny thing real quick is uh, my yeah. mom was a big Kevin Samuels uh, viewer and she would call me and like, we would, she, you know, some, whatever topic it was, she goes, did you see the, cause I didn't really watch him cause I've been busy doing other things. She was, you know, she would tell me a topic and I'm like, oh, really? You know, then I would go look it up. So I got a lot of my information from my mom who, who was uh, watching him, you know, so. Yeah. And Matt, how you doing? It says black community never coming back to many haters. And that's really sad. Purple girl, how you doing? And glorious Mimi, how you doing? It says I never watched uh, his shows because of the things I've uh, read about his show. I try to filter what I watch to remain as positive as I can. Rip Kevin Samuels in peace and condolences to his family. Yes, indeed. And it's got to be really hard for his family. Can you imagine, you know, them getting on the internet and seeing all the vitriol um, regarding his alleged passing? It's crazy. Well, 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 well here, here's the thing people got to really think about. A lot of people are talking about it, and we're not talking about mainstream media. We're talking about local bloggers, uh, you know, YouTube type folks, Facebook type folks. We're, we are talking about a person. And so for a a person that most of us don't know personally. So what does that say about the person? He left an impact if you like it or not, because God forbid something happens to me down the road. Nobody's going to be talking about me like this. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty big impact. I mean, trending number one on Twitter and whether people, you know, think Twitter is what they say, the consciousness of society Trending number one, and he's trended before, so it's not the first time, but trending number one on Twitter and, you know, having so many people have an opinion about it. That's, you know, I would say that's a, a pretty big mark on the world. And uh, let's see here. Adriana, how you doing? It says four to five Red Bulls a day. That's a cardiac arrest guarantee. Yeah, they say. And uh, P. Seuss, I hope I said that right. How you doing? He says uh, he is dead. Who cares how he dropped dead? He was disrespectful to black women. Also, he was not Jesus Christ. Yeah, he was not Jesus Christ. And then the Jesus Christ they tell you all about wasn't Jesus Christ either. So Yeah, exactly. And you know, and, and let me ask you, let me ask you this. Uh maybe in your opinion, he was disrespectful to black women, but to a lot of people, he wasn't. So I mean, again, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Who are we to say, you know, what he was and what he what he wasn't? Everybody has a different value system. Megan, how are you doing? He says, Did he really die? I just uh, because I just Googled it and it said it was a rumor. Yeah, well, you know, it's all alleged until, you know, I would imagine the authorities or his family or somebody confirm it. But here I have on the screen uh, a statement of his best friend who posted this on his story on Instagram. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know why his best friend would say something that's not true unless they're both, you know, playing a hoax, which would be, you know, cruel. But it would be a relief if he's not really passed on. Yeah, I'm going to jump real quick to Robert Harlan's uh, uh, statement. He says, anyone heard from Tommy Sotomayor? Should we put out a wellness check? Now, Demetria, have you heard anything about Tommy Sotomayor? The last I heard, he was uh, doing OnlyFans in addition to... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, that I, I know they didn't get along very well, but it would be hard to think that even Tommy Sotomayor, who I think is a horrible human being, um, would be celebrating that. So I'm going to skip to the, some of these bottom of these comments because I know I've got a lot of them. I want to get everybody. All painless. How you doing? He says, I saw this in, uh, I, I'll say this in his death. All the women celebrating prove everything he said. Right. Okay. It's still grow, growing. How you doing? He says, rip to a goat. Anton, how you doing? He says, wow, rip Kevin Samuels. Condolences to his family. He was a great man. You will be missed truly. And then Ali says, Kevin once uh, gave a master class on how a man is supposed to act. What a devastating blow for his daughter and mother right before Mother's Day. Oh, my God. Yes, indeed, because he did have a child and a mom that, you know, he would talk about that he would go visit and stuff. So it's crazy. And uh, yes, let's see here. Uh, and Sammy, how you doing? He says, uh, Kevin Samuels helped me, a young black um, woman, tweak my attitude. He said, young black women, I'm sorry. Uh, tweak my attitude and outlook on life and dating. I don't care what anybody says. And I've been saying this beforehand. And then Robert asking, where did he pass? It sounds like Atlanta. Again, don't quote me. There's things that I've kind of heard. And School of Thought, how you doing? Uh, he says, uh, lap, peef, live, not even a memorial talking about something else. 
popped up by Kevin Samuels, dead confirmed by Anton on a separate video. So Anton is his best friend from what I understand. Yeah, uh, let, let, let me uh, put a statement out here for some, 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 Sir, some, some Sirica Rogers. I'm sorry if I messed your name up. Kevin stirred disc discord amongst most men and women. Only something higher could stop such division. Really? Yeah, and Hannah, if I was reading your comment, says we're talking about him all over the internet. Um, are talking about people are all over the internet talking about him. Maybe someone with a better disposition will take up the debate. You guys do it on occasion. Maybe overall it can be turned into a positive. Yeah, you know it can be because, uh, like I said, regardless of what you you like about him or not, he did spark the conversation um, that black men and women, you know, we need to figure out a way to find some common ground because without us getting together, we don't survive. And it's just a fact, no matter how we feel about each other, black men and women need each other to pull this thing off. And this thing is black liberation. And really at this point, black survival. Yeah, because amen, because the discord between black and women, and I'm going back to some, some Sirica's Roger's statement, which I don't agree with, but you know, she can make that statement. Um, the discord was already there. The, the narrative of black men ain't shit and, you know, black women are hoes. It's in the music. It's in the movies. It's in the it's in the culture that was already there. And it's been there for over 40 years. So to uh, finally sit down with each other and talk about it and try to do something about it. Uh, when I watched Kevin Samuels, I thought he was more about family and unity and keeping the, the black family intact. That's what I got out of a lot of his messages that I would see. Because he's always talking about, are you married? Uh, you know, all the stuff that, you know, you would think that would help the black community. We need more fathers in the home. We need more uh, mothers to help raise the, you know, uh, the kids and, you know, and just be a family, you know? So I believe the discord has been there for over 40 years on both sides of the aisle. Yeah, absolutely. And so, I mean, it, it's, you know, I'm not usually lost for words. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, I was sitting here doing some work and when I heard it happen, I kind of just been engrossed into it all day. Kind of just trying to see if somebody was saying, no, nah, it's not true. Even before we came on here, cause I know he does Instagram on Thursday. I went on to say, okay, well maybe, you know, it's not true. Maybe he's going to go live. And, you know, at this point before we came on nothing. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's awful. It's mm -hmm. awful. I mean, you know, as you say, Robert, he seems like he was in good shape. Talked about, you know, working out and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but again, we don't know why, you know, or what happened to him. Rumors, you know, heart attack or whatever the case is. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's horrible. Well, I, I think it's really it's really weird that you, somebody who, you know, is a talker, you got a degree in public relations and all this stuff. So, so you're trained as a person that can talk. And you didn't really follow this person, and yet you're at a loss of words. Yeah, I mean, I I think we're human at the end of the day. And again, I, I think that people should be entitled to their opinions, whether we like it or not. I'm not into censoring people. That's like when, you know, Elon Musk said he was taking over Twitter and he's, you know, really about free speech. I was like, well, good. Because especially in, you know, new black media, we do get censored a lot. We got to be careful what mm -hmm. we say. Because, you know, our pages get shut down and just a whole bunch of stuff. And so I'm all for free speech. Now, I'm not for, you know, speech that's harmful to people, uh, things that are incendiary. But again, I think people should be able to say what they want, even if I don't like it. Correct. Correct. Well, then then a uh, question is, why do you always censor me on the show? You a lie. <laughs> hey, girl, how you doing? Say, is this confirmed? Now, when we say confirmed officially from like a coroner's report or a hospital or police yeah, no. Or his family as of now no but i do have a uh, a screenshot from uh, his best friend who appears to be confirming that uh he is no longer here again i'm i'm hoping it's not true and um so i'm just going to skip to some of these other ones because sure. i know i'm really behind in some of these yeah um, uh, 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 anyway. real quick donald hayes says he was a cancer survivor so i forgot that too you know it, it could be related to his previous health situation i uh, i myself have leukemia and uh you know i'm not saying i can drop out at any time but you know i do get infections and things that could be very very threatening so that could be a possibility 
And I've heard a lot of people saying, you know, oh, I haven't seen it on TMZ yet. And, you know, yeah. whether we like it or not, TMZ has been, yeah, well, they've been considered a reputable source. Now, that wasn't always the case. You know, TMZ started off as a gossip magazine yeah. type of thing, if you will. But they have, I mean, I've even seen reputable news sources like, you know, Dateline and all that, quote, that of TMZ. So yeah. they have really become a, a source uh, to be reckoned with as far as breaking news. It's kind of like Alan Schefter and the um, NBA, what the guy has to say about the NBA, if there's a trade or something going down, or the other guy in the NFL, you know. <laughs> I saw somebody saying <laughs> Umar is uh, doing YouTube with no shirts on <laughs> and a gold chain, <laughs> calling himself King Kong. Yeah, you know, that's uh, that's uh, Dr. Umar for you. And Artemis, how you doing? He says, uh, my people are so hard yeah. and critical on one another, but willing to give uh, other folks a pass. You yeah, know it's what? amazing. All these Biden sexuals out there, give him time, do all this other stuff. And we're willing to give uh, other people a pass. But when it comes to our own, we are just hard on their ass with no Vaseline. Yeah, you know, and that, and that is sad that we are really, really hard on our own people, whether we like them or not. But we do mm -hmm. give people who are actually probably more harmful I'm a pass every day, right? So yeah, it's just kind of crazy. Um, and let's see here, Ryan, how you doing? He says uh, he says I'll say wait till the morning to uh, verify a news outlet confirms it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And we're not saying that it's you know we're saying True. allegedly because there's nothing um, official, if you will, come out. But again, this is a statement from his friend who, you know, said it. So I don't know. I'm I'm hoping it's not true. Just but just you know what? An another good thing is people are now going to um the new black media to you know get things confirmed and all this other stuff and i got to say big ups to the new black media because i have yet to read a statement or a uh publication that has actually confirmed it so you know and these are people like ourselves that that weren't trained journalists and weren't trained media people we just use common sense yeah i mean like again i'm hoping it's not true but i'm thinking by mm -hmm. now wouldn't Kevin have come on and say, Hey, I'm still here. Don't believe the hype. Don't, but you know, right. I, I would think by now, because at first I was kind of thinking, you know, because a lot of times people, um, they do certain things maybe because they want to lead up to something. So I was kind of thinking, well, maybe it's something like a, it's a preview for a show or something he's going to do, you know? Uh, cause I saw another YouTuber, his Trey, somebody, he actually put out an obituary of himself yesterday and it says that he died on May 6th, but it was May 4th. And so people were like, oh, it's because he's being censored or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I kind of thought maybe it was something like that. And I'm still kind of hoping it is, you know, just to be honest with you. So, yeah, yeah, we can hope we can hope and pray. Yes, indeed. So let me get to some more of these comments here. And Grace, you're saying he woke up the black race. OK. And uh, a guy in these doll, how you doing? Let's see who else is on here. And Caleb, he says, I'll just say this, regardless of how some people may feel about him, we have to remember that a child lost a father and a family member lost a loved exactly. one. Now is not the time to speak ill of the deceased. I totally, right. totally Absolutely. Agree. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Because I, you know, like I said, regardless of how you feel about a person, you got to be, you know, you have to really be careful the things that you speak on other people and the things that you do to other people, right? Like, I get it. Very controversial individual, but he did spark a conversation. But if you didn't like what he said and you're out there saying, oh, well, that's what he get. Well, what makes you think you ain't going to get something for speaking ill of somebody who has passed on? If he's going to get it for what he said, don't you think it's going to come back to you? No. Nope. No, nope. use, use logic here, right? I would think. Mm, critical thinking is something that our society, black, white, Asian, Hispanic lack. And Royal Ranger, how you doing? Says Kevin Samuels delivered his message to his people, and then it was time for him to depart. Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiastes seven and one: No one born of the womb of a woman will escape death. Yeah, I mean everybody's got their time. We don't know when, right? Exactly. And the inspired thought, how you doing? He says, uh, he was his, I think his delivery, uh, his, his delivery was painful, but there was a lot of truth in what he said. His death should spark conversation between black 
men and women about what they really think and feel. I, I agree with yeah, you. I agree. At least have a conversation. Yeah, I agree. And, and yeah. inspired thought. Um, how many of you guys really, uh, when you listen to him, did you guys notice that he always used math and, and statistics? And I know statistics could be changed, but then when he used literal math, how do you argue with the math? That's what I couldn't figure out when some of the ladies were on the show and he would just basically, it, and you know, this is not about, you know, his show or nothing like that, but I'm just saying it, it's, it was just kind of amazing the logic that he used because you can go to college all day long and learn any subject you want to learn. But do you, are you, do you guys realize the only subject that is relative and is used around the world and cannot be changed no matter how you want to spin it is math. Yeah, so he did deal in statistics, you know, a lot. I took statistics, sucked. I did do. I don't know how I passed, but one thing I do know. I got a B, I got a B. Yeah, <laughs> I got a D. D's, you know, some sometimes get degrees, <laughs> sometimes. But yeah, I do know that statistics, you know, can be flawed too, you know. Sure. But he did deal with numbers. And sometimes when I would watch his stuff, I would Google it. Or whatever, or I kind of already knew it. I'm like, well, yeah, that that is true. So he did have his, you know, statistics and you know, math and numbers usually do not lie, right? They don't lie. So as they, they say, it's not what you know, it's what you could prove. Yeah. So, and then let's see here. Uh, go down here, and then Tracy, how you doing? He says I went over to Twitter and there were uh, many. So I I, I don't. Can get the rest of your comments. So sorry, sorry about that. And James, how you doing? He says his death been verified. I'm sorry, has his death been verified? And who got the link? So again, uh, we don't have an official verification as far as a coroner's report or police as of yet. I don't know. But again, this is his best friend's statement here. And I did go to his uh, actual Instagram, his story, and it was on there. So at first he did say... Um, some about it being a rumor because I guess maybe he had just heard it. And then after that, this came up in the story. Mm -hmm. So nothing official yet. Not, you know, I get it. Um, I don't want to believe it's true either. I, I hope it's not true. I hope that we are all on here, you know, having a conversation unnecessarily. I hope the guy popped up. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see who, you know, would say whatever about me or this was a lead up to something. You know, I'm hoping that's the case. So I'm not on um, here. You know, hoping that he's gone. Yeah, uh, wasn't that an episode of Good Times when uh, what's his name, Robert Guillaume, was on there, and his name was Fishball, and he died, and he wanted to see who came and you know loved him and stuff, and they gave him the eulogy, and then you know he was like, "It's me," and he comes out, and everybody's like, and they were mad at him because they thought he was dead, but then when he realized, people you know really thought, "Oh wow, he's here," so we need to celebrate him while he's here. That I think that was a Good Time episode. Al, could you confirm that for us, please? <laughs> Abdullah, how you doing? Longtime friend on Facebook. And I know that you are, um, you know, devastated because I know you are one of his most staunch <laughs> followers. But I'm going to read your comment. He says, probably laugh at his death. I did not laugh at his death. I think you probably know me long enough, even though we've never personally met. Mm -hmm. But I think you know me long enough that I'm not that type of person. I've never um, illustrated to be a cruel person to laugh at anybody, except for Donovan, yeah, but to laugh at you. anybody, you. you know, uh, <laughs> who has lost their life or any of that. So I, I just, I just, I want to push back on that comment. You also mm -hmm. say black women laughing at his death. And you used to say that he was of the LGBTQ Q. community. Yeah. I've said it once or twice. Or if he is or was, I don't know. But again, that is my opinion to say that. But even if I did say that, I would never wish death on anybody. So I hope that helps. John, how you doing? It says it, it rumored a uh, uh, wow. It says rumored that a woman over thirty five killed him. Because <laughs> you guys know he made a statement about a, a women over thirty five being leftover women. I think that was like a week or so ago, and yeah. it took off all over the internet. Uh, and let's see here, Mr. Pirate. Well, you know, how uh, you, you know, being somebody who's who was raised in Japan, that is a term that came from Japan because usually women have already been married and things like that. And I think about 30 or 40 years ago, they recently stopped arranged marriages in Japan. So usually most of the women were already married and betrothed to somebody. So that, that was a term that comes back, you know, years ago in Japan, years. 
and see Brian, how you doing? You say wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, real quick, YouTube watcher said all Kevin Samuels did was start gender war. Now the genie's out of the bottle. It's too late, too late. How did he start gender war when the gender wars actually started in the 1970s with the now movement? Hell, the gender war started when Eve bit the damn apple. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, you know, things like that started way before Kevin Samuels, just like the problems we have in America started way before Donald Trump. So I'm not, I'm not downing your comment, but it the gender wars were way before Kevin Samuels. Yeah, and not yeah. To put that on Kevin Samuels, that's giving him yeah. way too much credit. But yeah, yeah, the gender wars took place very, very, very long time ago, <laughs> even before he was born. Yeah. So, yeah. And then uh, Hannah he says exactly, uh, Donovan. The overall message was geared toward marriage. Yeah. And for what I understand, too, he had a, some sort of a marriage group or some or a, a group where he would mm -hmm. hook people up. And he said that he actually was able to get um, a, quite a few couples married. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He had some successful um, counseling sessions, I guess. Or... Mm -hmm. Let me see who else is on here who I have not uh, mentioned yet. And I'm just trying to get some of these. And uh mm -hmm. I ain't going to try to say your name because I'm going to mess it up. But anyway, how you doing? It says, you don't believe, uh, sir, you know, the discord has been there for a long yeah. time. So, um, yeah, it, it has been. And again, it, start, it sparked a conversation. And I think for what it's worth, we need to continue having it and try to really figure out what the end goal, because that's what he said. You know, I know a lot of people disputed that, that, you know, his goal was to get black men and women together. And I think that should be all of our goals if we're interested in staying here, right? We know that our population has not really moved since the 1960s, give or take, but we should be a lot further off than we are. And we're not for a whole lot of reasons. And I will say that, you know, between men and women, black men and women, we have the most drama, at least the most drama out in the open, I would say. What is it? Let's see here, Terry. How you doing? You say, I've watched him since 2020. Uh, he was about the unity and strength of black families. So I should have read your comment. And Mr. Pyabrain says he seemed like he um, he seemed like a good man. He helped a lot of women. And a lot of women did say that. They, I've, I've heard a lot of women say that. And Jacob's dis, uh, descendant, how you doing? He says he changed the game. I couldn't even work out today. It hit me hard. Yeah. I mean, I like I said, I was sitting here and I was just kind of at the back really just engrossed in wow is it true mm -hmm. trying to find out and you know just it, it was on my mind like that is horrible it you know if it's true and let's see here uh 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 eyb how you doing he says gender wa wars kevin didn't invent the slogan i don't need a man uh oh <laughs> And yeah, you, you, you know, and we're not trying to uh, call that out, but see that that's just, you know, it's just another trope that a lot of women for some reason go with. I don't understand how you could put give him that much credit when that stuff's been going on for years and years and years. And that's factual. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's indeed. And um, Mac, Mac, how you doing? He said he was definitely an awesome brother. Yeah, I know it's um a, a huge loss to what they call the manosphere out there. So, you know, that's, I, I don't know. And let's see here. Yes, Hollywood 2000, how you doing? It says prayers for his family. Uh, and Grace Richardson, you says he said what others won't say. So I've heard. Mary, uh, okay, I'll put the, I'm going to just put up all, you know, viewpoints. And Mary, how you doing? It says his heart was full of hate for black women, but rip. Um, out of respect for um, no hate in mind, though. So that right. that was respectful. I mean, yeah, yeah. But you know, again, um, I just got a question. Sure. He was married to a black woman, so how can you pull that he had hate for black women? I, I, I don't understand sometimes how how people come to that conclusion. We don't know his heart. We don't know. I mean, everything that I've seen about him in his personal life showed that he loved black women. So this one here is saying other sources saying it's an Atlanta police officer named Kevin Samuels who passed. And I would hope, hope. I mean, <laughs> wait a minute. Not now. in a bad way. Not wait, in a bad wait, way. Wait, because that was going to come out wrong. Yeah. Not I don't know if anybody way. passed, but I guess what I'm trying to say is 
it's not good any Kevin Samuels pass, but I just want to say I, I hope that we're wrong and I hope all the other outlets are wrong, if I, if that makes any sense. So without wishing death on somebody else. Facts not feeling said, what's disturbing is if a black woman were to pass away, who was trying to make black men better not divesting? I could not see black men dancing on her grave. Hmm. I would hope not. I would hope not. Let, 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 uh, let me get this one. Uh, Sa Sam Sarika, sorry, I messed up your name, Roger says, no, he never came across as a man of peace. If his content was good, there wouldn't be such controversy and confusion. Kindness reaps kindness. Okay, uh, Sam, Sam Sarika, uh, are you aware that he had, what, one million followers on Twitter? I think that would be a form of success because if, you got, if, you're, got, if you're influencing over a million people, in my opinion, that's successful. Wow, I'm just seeing that somebody said the IRS shut Umar Johnson's school project down. Why? Oh well, yeah, yeah, that, that happened like two weeks ago. Really? I, I mm -hmm. I've been out of the loop. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Tay Tay, you crazy? Says, okay, I'm gonna call TMZ and ask them. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and Richard, how you doing, dear friend? Says, did you get it from Melanie King? Who is that? Oh, Melanie King is that uh, that blogger down in Florida. She's uh, she had like the twist in her hair, like blonde twist in her hair and stuff. And she recently got divorced and had lived this uh, amazing life and uh, was married to a rich man. And they got divorced and stuff. And she uh, she was friends with Kevin Samuels as well. Oh yeah, so I don't I don't didn't even know who she was, but no, I mm -hmm. I didn't get it. And um, oh, so Richard, you're also saying uh, she says family's com confirmed it. So if she's friends with him and she's saying the family confirmed it, then. Yeah, that, that's that's horrible. Speedy Thunder, he says, a lot of us are on plantation mentally and it's sickening to even talk down and dirty on suspicious death. He could be or not be, but don't hope. So even when I'm not a fan, he's exactly like be decent, right? Where, where, where did decency fly out the window? Like, do we still know how to be decent? You know, it's like that's to me, it's like showing up to somebody's dinner and they have like chitlin loaf or something there. And instead of you saying, you know, you, know, you don't like it, you're not going to say, yeah, I ain't going to eat that. That's nasty. You just say, no, thank you. Mm. But I will have some water, though. You know, you know what I mean? You ain't going to sit up there and act a fool. Just be decent. LaMarcus, how you doing? He says, Donovan, you're a real brother. You'll get through this player. You're going to kick leukemia dead in the ass. Yes. Yes, indeed, he will. And who else is on here that I have not seen in April? He says, you're going to wait for the confirma confirmation. He says, 10-10 uh, wins. And what is that? And uh, Tisha, you say he has, hasn't been active all day. He usually drops a story on IG throughout the day. Yeah, and so from what they're saying, oh, Donovan took out of here. He'll be back. They're saying, I guess it happened this morning. I don't know. From you know, I've just kind of seen some movement saying that it happened this morning. Uh, so it's, it's very sad. And like I said, I know on uh, Thursday evening, he usually goes live on Instagram. So has anybody seen him on there this evening? I don't know. And I know it's usually about nine o'clock or so. Uh, and Arson, how you doing? He says, hi, guys. I'm speechless. Uh, fact is, he said a lot of things. Nobody dared. I uh, never heard anyone intelligently challenge him. Main issue was more his attitude and delivery still impacted us. Rip. Yes, indeed. And who else is on here? Scorpion King. How you doing? He says, uh, if he is gone, I'm glad that he was here for the time he was here. Uh, you say, I I know he didn't hate anyone. He wanted to see us together. I truly will take his words to heart. Rip Godfather. Yes, a lot of people affectionately called him Godfather. And uh, let's see here. Young Rilla, how you doing? He says, damn, I hope it's not true. If so, rest in power, brother. You'll never be replaced. And then Wilbur, how you doing? It says, Rip Brother. And who else is on here? T.G. Hamilton, he says, the stats, math were not always interpreted correctly. For example, the percentage of black men who are married. And so that's kind of why I said, too, that statistics, while they say they're accurate, we know sometimes it can be skewed, right? Because it just depends on who they're, uh, they're polling or where they're getting their samples from. So statistics can be tricky. And let's see who else is on here. I'm put this here. And um, Manrico, how you doing? He says, I hope he's okay, but I also hope this is not a gimmick. 
I hope it's not a gimmick too, but honestly, I'm going to tell you, I thought that it was because it's not unusual for people to do that, to say, oh, I'm not, I didn't say I was dead. I meant that, you know, I, this is dead or something. So I was kind of thinking that at first. Um, and I put this up here. It says your, your obituary reflects how you are viewed by others, good or good, bad or indifferent. It depends on who's writing it. Because yeah, I was right. You don't want the ex-wife writing it. That's for damn sure. Yeah, I read some obituaries. Like, are we talking about the same person? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have you guys noticed, like, when you get my age, um, you know, and God forbid you pass, and they never put the current picture on. It's always when you were younger. You know. Yes, indeed. You could be yeah. seventy, and you're like you're really old, but the on the obituary, it's the, that young, good picture that's on. There. Right. Hannah, if you said he first came on the scene, um, he was talking, uh, telling men they need to stop wearing sneakers all the time, grooming, confirming to get ahead. He rejected the media portrayal of us and clown people he thought perpetuated the negative co uh, connotation mm -hmm. of us. And that is absolutely true. If you do go look at, back at some of his uh, earlier stuff, he was he was getting in men's behind. He was. I was mm -hmm. like, ooh. But then, you know, I also would hear him say, nobody really listened. Not, well, I didn't get as many people listening to me until I started to, you know, uh, hold black women accountable and start talking about women. But he did say that I was always talking about men. And, and to his credit, he was in, in the beginning. He was. Mm -hmm. Under was, construction, yeah. how you doing? Yeah, I, I think his claim to fame was when he called that one girl average at best. And that's, that's what when really I first heard of him. him yeah. yeah, that's when I first heard of him. Under construction, how you doing? He says, I swear people that glorify in someone's death will also receive their fate much earlier, agree or disagree. A lot of black women are glorifying and happy. That's sick. Yeah, that, that is very sick. Um, like I said, I don't know what, what? happens to those people. Uh, you you want to scroll down. Mystical Gemstone says Kevin Samuels just uploaded a video on his website confirming that he is alive. Could could you go and check that out? Which website is this? He, he didn't say. He says Kevin Samuels just uploaded a video on his website confirming that he is alive. Well, let's hope that that's true. True. Yeah. yeah. Let me see here. <laughs> and Word. go better. And you thank you guys for the comment? comments in regards to my uh, leukemia. The thing is, uh, you can't beat it. It's undefeated so far. So we're, we're, we'll see how where it goes. I'm looking. So just go ahead okay. and keep reading. Okay, well, let me just go ahead and do, and do that. Miss, uh, Andre Cohn says, Kevin had an aggressive way of going about it, but he really wanted better for the Black family. Men, become your highest and best use. Women, prepare yourselves. Family, prepare yourselves for the world. Dwight Jones says, thank you, Sir Kevin. Now families can have an honest conversation about the pitfalls of making life-changing decisions based on one's feelings as opposed to facts and critical thinking. And if you guys haven't been paying attention, a leaked memo from the Supreme Court is said to have been, a, uh, they're coming in June or something in the summertime, they're going to announce the overthrow of uh, Roe versus Wade. Now, again, I, me as a man, I don't know why men are involved in that. That's a woman's decision, a woman's body, a woman's decision. Um, but isn't it funny, and I want you guys to pay attention to this, watch how all of the black bootlicks, the NAACP defense fund, all of these black so-called servants are going to come out in defense of uh, pro-life, which is what they should do. But why don't they do that for us just in general? I mean, where were they at with the qualified immunity? Where were they at with the reparations? Now, all of them are coming out of the woodworks to fight for pro-life. Or wait, am I saying that right? Pro-life or, or is that pro-death? Because I'm pro-life. I try not to even get in the middle of all of that. Right, right. I hear you. Um, and let's see. So I got to the bottom here. So I'm just, uh, I didn't see anything on his Instagram or live or anything like that. Um, I did go through um, Instagram and I've seen people, including Mark Lamont Hill, uh, say that he has gotten confirmation that he has passed okay. on. Arkansas so, Baby says it's reported by article now that what they, they're saying was there was cocaine laced with fentanyl was at the room or in the room. Yeah, see, I, try, I saw that and I try really not to read that on purpose no. because... It's that they say type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. We don't know why that man. And, and this is the crazy part, too. You don't know how he died until the coroner tell you how he died. Exactly. And you got these people coming out saying, oh, it was this, it was that. 
when I hear stuff like that, I just really try not to repeat it because we don't know. We're not a corner. We're not, you know, we, we don't have the ability to say that until, you know, they come out with something that they've done a toxicology report or something like that. I mean, it could have been aspirin in the room for all we know. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If right, that's what right. people say. He could have allergic reaction to anything. Yeah, anything. He could have, he could have ate some shellfish for all we know. Anything. Could have, you know, anything, you know, so just to really i don't know people people crazy in arkansas maybe how you doing sense of oh you read that already it's been yeah, recorded. I read that one. Mm -hmm. okay and our ramisha i hope i said that right how you doing says mm -hmm. cameron Samuels was making waves in the mainstream on set with future and Nicki minaj sought him out yes that is very very true hello fat son your words not mine how you doing hello hello divine life he said uh things are about to become much harder for everyone, especially regarding our food sources. We are going to need each other. Yeah. yeah, we need to knock all this fighting off between each other and figure out how to get along. Because at the end of the day, when this <coughs> thing goes down, whatever this thing is, y'all could put what you want to it. Everybody else from different races aren't going to be running to other races. They're going to be like, okay, Lupita, what you got to say, Manuel? Okay, this is what we gonna do, right? They're mm -hmm. not gonna be, you know, trying to. Well, I ain't gonna get along with Humberto. I don't. They gonna be like Humberto. What we need to do? Cause we all we got, right? So we need to start thinking along those lines, regardless. Mm -hmm. And so let's see here. Jay, how you doing? It says so. Since no one has come forward to confirm Kevin Samuels is alive, and it was a hoax. The lead that leads me to believe it may be true. Yeah, there's been a lot of quite a few reputable people i will say saying that you know they did get confirmation and again i'm keeping this statement up here from his best friend just to kind of give a little bit of foundation um so it doesn't look like we're just up here because i've seen people yeah. go live early and i'm like wow even really before it was confirmed it's like now why are we really doing this you know what i mean like get, at least get something that says that okay it looks like it may mo be more true Mm -hmm. than not and again i'm not saying it is true because we don't have the official whatever that looks like confirmation so again this is all just allegedly yeah, at this i get point. you i get you mm -hmm. and you know and, and and big ups to you Demetri k because like i said you know as we know you weren't a big fan but for you to uh come out and you know and pay a little homage and respect to uh this this great man i gotta give you big ups you know yeah, I mean, and, you know, to put the word out, to put the word out, you know. Yeah. When I, and, and, you know, if, if Mr. Pyrebrain says, I hope he wasn't a drug user, I mean, I, I've watched Kevin enough to not get that vibe from him. And again, you never know what people are doing in their own private lives, but he talked a lot about being healthy and, yeah. you know, being upstanding and just being productive. So I, I don't know. I didn't really get those vibes mm -hmm. from him. But again, I don't know what people do in their private life, but I'm saying I didn't get those vibes. Not that that means much. Mm -hmm. An mm -hmm. amazing tribe. You say, Demetri K was talking about this earlier on a few panels. I was a part of earlier. So you were talking about this um, earlier on the panel you were from. And uh, that guy from Texas, how you doing? He says the sources reporting his death is not credible. So a lot of them are not but I've seen um, a few of them that may or may not be. And again, we won't know until we know, right? Like to say, if you know, mm -hmm. you know, that's when we gonna know. Right. Uh, so yes, indeed. And bro now, bro Ronald, how you doing? I was about to mess your name up. You say, my friend is gone. He usually posts a video by now. Mm -hmm. His job is done. Yeah. And that's what a lot of people are saying that usually he's pretty active, you know, on Instagram. I don't follow him. Um, but I do know that he would, he does shows on Instagram. I think it's on Thursday nights. And as of five minutes ago, I didn't see any, you know, indication that he was live. So, uh, yeah. Um, let me read this one by G Disprint. Sure. He gave me cult vibes. That's interesting. I, I wish you could expand on that because when, whenever I hear somebody say cult vibes, isn't that what black people do when they vote for the Democrats? 98% of uh, the voting wouldn't that be cultish to do that i'm just wondering i'm just trying to to you know elaborate what a cult is or, or, or you know that cult feeling not being disrespectful so i hope don't take it disrespectfully just something um, to think about well i'm one of those people i don't like to lie to kick it yeah i think that mm -hmm. he did have cult vibes as well um mm -hmm. 
I think anybody who can amass a following that way mm -hmm. and uh, for him to have such an indelible mark on them to where, I mean, he could pretty much tell them what to do and they would do it. That is, that does give off cult vibes. In, you sure, know, not sure. Even, yeah, I'm, I'm not yeah. disagreeing with it. I'm just saying, but wouldn't yeah. that be the same thing as, as black people supporting the Democratic Party? Oh, yes. It's definitely a cult following. Absolutely. I mean, it's a cult. You go to church, don't you? That, that could be classified as a cult following, especially if you're giving mm -hmm. all your money to the preacher and you ain't seeing, you know, no progress and you keep doing it, you know, like zombies. Yeah, that could be a cult following. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I agree. And uh, let's see here. The thoughts of the week. You say people have been going live quick on Kevin saying they can't confirm if they're still going live and not considering his family. Yeah, you got you have to consider his family. I mean, he did have one, whether we saw them or not. So I totally agree. And I'm just going to put some of these comments up as we are going to get ready to get out of here. Ooh, an hour went by really quick. Really fast, really fast. And so hello to everybody who came on here. Uh, and Stanley, how you doing? Says women are considering his daughter's emotions. Yeah, it's like who raised these people? That, that's that's just awful, awful to be celebrating that. And I don't really like Twitter much because Twitter is just weird yeah. for me. Um, it's it's it can be a very nasty place. So I try not to hang out in spaces like that uh, too much. All uh, right, and Quenisha, I hope I said that right. Says all I would say is we have uh, we have to watch what we say. Yeah. Life and death does lie in the power of the tongue, and we should be very careful of the things we put out into the universe because that acts as a boomerang. What you put out is surely mm -hmm. going to come back to you. I don't care what it is. And I say this a lot. I do believe in the powers of the universe, and I'm not speaking to anybody specifically. I'm just speaking for myself. I believe in the powers of the universe, and I believe that what you do to people does come back to you. Be careful. Wake up every morning with intentions of doing good, putting good into the world. But definitely don't wake up trying to hurt people because when you do that, it'll come back to you. And if, a lot of times it don't come back to you the way you put it out there. Sometimes it comes back worse. So wake up with good intentions. Do no harm to people because you don't want harm to come back to you. Right. So uh, let's see mm -hmm. here. Who else came on here? And Christian, how you doing? Said, I don't think that you should speak on it if you have not watched the video. That's not what he was saying and so i forgive me um I, I don't know um what that was referencing to or who you're talking to so forgive me for that uh and sam says cult no question no progress that's uh that's true cult got it and amoni you say the demeanor he had donovan i really thought he was more into more into men because he always spoke so negatively about black women let's call it like it is to me but god has the final say judgment let's pray Absolutely. God does have the final uh, say. Al, he says, Kevin, drink Red Bull with Hennessy. Oh, I hope not. He says, accelerants and depressions are never a good mixture. Yeah, I will see him drinking Red Bull quite a bit, but I never saw him put Hennessy, so I don't know about that. And, and Donald, how you doing? He says, I, I, that's how the Bible is. Yes, indeed. And Ben, how you doing? He says, there's no way. Uh-oh. Let's see. He says, uh, where did he go? Did I miss it? I said, there is no way that Kevin Sanders is still alive. The thing about him I noticed above all is that he was honest. We would have heard from him by now. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking too. Like, that'd be pretty cruel. And this has been going on for what? About five hours at least now that this has been going on saying that he is not here anymore. So I, I agree with you. If he, I, I would just think that even if it was a joke, I think by now he would have said, okay. I was hardy, hard, hard, right? I, I was kidding. So I just, I, I don't know him, but I, I couldn't see him pulling that off for that long. Mr. Pyrebrain, thank you. You talk about, I'm right in regards to that. Uh, be careful what you put out there. Yeah, I agree, Christian. Yeah, sometimes people need to hear the truth and the truth hurts. Yeah. yeah. I know I've heard some truthful things about myself and I was like, surely you're joking. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, it didn't feel good, but if it's true, deal with it, right? And uh, Bobby says, karma is real. This has nothing to do with karma. We will all die sooner than others. No, I was not saying that about him per se. I was just saying in general, yes, I do believe in karma. I do believe um, uh, as you guys believe in the Bible, the golden rule, what you do to people will come back to you. Um, that is very true. Well, you have to be careful of the energy you put out, whether you call it karma, you call it energy, whatever you call it. 
You cannot think that you can get up in the morning and be evil to people and eventually and have that not visit you back. It does come back. It's a boomerang effect. So we should be careful. But I was not speaking on the fact, you know, or speaking on if he is gone, that's what he got. So that's that's not what I was saying. I wasn't even saying that in relation to him at all. So hopefully uh, no one got the wires crossed with that. And uh, Ray Kane says, any black man that could amass such a strong following of black men as that in that sort of time is likely to disappear. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, Thunder, how you doing? He says, oh, my God, not the, the Godfather. That's what they're saying, allegedly. Um, And let's see here. And Carletta, how you doing? I thank you so much for the donation and love and appreciate you for that. He says, I did not support this man. However, I do not celebrate death. We have, we all have an expiration date. Yeah, we don't yeah. know when that date is, right? If we yeah. knew, we might be acting better or get after our lives a little bit more, stop being complacent and, you know, procrastinating. We would, you know, definitely be more uh, exact with the things we do in our lives. Well, right. I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Why is it that the older we get, the more in church we go to. But when we were younger, you almost never catch us in church. I'm not saying all of us, but you guys know who I'm talking about. Isn't it funny how our elders that are here, they're all into the church, they're all deacons and stuff like that. But then you look at their testimony, those were the very same guys that were, uh, you know, uh, tearing up the neighborhood back in the 1970s. And, um, Aramisha, uh, Aramishi, I hope I said that right. He says black community is uh, a matriarchy and he was a threat to that. Now I will agree with you. I do believe that the black community is uh, dominated by women. And maybe I should, the word dominate is going to kind of sound wrong in this respect, but I think it should be led by men as most other races are. So I will agree with you on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Arkansas, baby, you say Kevin was known for tearing black, uh, tearing down black women. I never seen him praising not one black woman. I can't say that he did or he did not, because uh, when we speak in absolutes, that means like never. So I don't know if he ever right. did or not. I don't know. Right, but but um, and I'm just Arkansas, baby. You know, we're just having a conversation here. So telling a woman that she's overweight or unhealthy or she's unrealistic, that's your idea of tearing a, a, a black woman down. But yet when black men ain't shit, uh, black men don't do this, black men are uh, lazy, this, this, that, that's not tearing black men down. And it, again, it, you know, again, it, it's all about perspective. And this is not a tit for tat situation, but I just find it amazing how you're saying that all he can do is tear a woman down. In some of the shows that I've seen, I've never heard Kevin Samuels tell a black woman she wasn't shit or she was this or she was that. I don't think there's anything wrong by telling the truth and saying 70% of black women statistics, which he pulled out, are obese or overweight. That's a fact. So it, I don't know. It's just perspective, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've, I've heard him say some pretty harsh things to women. He just said he wasn't shit per se, no. Mm -hmm. But I've heard him say some things is like, wow. <laughs> so right. you know, and, and like I said, yeah. I, I'm just saying I've never seen it. But again, it's all about perspective. I mean, but, but was he telling the truth when he was saying that to, to, to those women? And Grace, I'm gonna read your comment. Says thank you, for, uh, thank you, Kevin, for shaking up black women. We uh, do need to go to the gym, and we do need to get married before we have children. So, yeah, it yeah. makes sense to me. Yeah. You know, I agree. Both sides, men, especially you men. How are you going to expect these women to look a certain way? And, and you got the damn beer belly and, you know, you're looking like Rick Ross sweating with a, a sweat rag and you want this uh, beautiful African queen next to you and you don't look nothing like the damn king. Give me a break. I'm glad you said it and I didn't because if I had said it, it's like, ah, look at yeah. women always talking about. So I'm glad right. you said it. But yeah, we well, y'all know how we operate on this show. We, we are even sided. We feel like black men and women got work to do we feel like black men and women are dope so it's never like a one-sided thing because we're not gonna make it being divisive and that's just the fact that thunder says i'm late here but what happened to him nobody really knows but it is speculated some people are saying that it's confirmed that he has passed on and uh sounds like he had passed uh sometime earlier today right mm -hmm. so anyway y'all uh 
I'm just looking to see if somebody else. Well, um, uh, Christy Middleton said this, uh, what 32 year old, you know, with children is able to marry a millionaire. It's common sense. Ag agreed. If, if you're a millionaire, you have options. That's just, that's just critical thinking. But it could happen, right, ladies? <laughs> it could happen. I mean, yeah, it could happen. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, one in a million. One in a million shot. Hey, okay. It could, if even if it's one in a million. Yes, absolutely. Could. One there in a million. Go. And you're that one in a million. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> so I'm just looking at some of the rest of these comments. Uh, and hopefully y'all, you know, uh, some of y'all said what really happened to him. Sounds like, yeah. you know, he passed. Some rumors, I don't really want to say what because there's no confirmation. Yeah, Christian, I pray he didn't die as well. And so, um, yeah, we are going to get out of here, but we love and appreciate y'all for coming on here. Let's yeah. hope that this is not true. And God forbid that it is true. Let's, you know, wish comfort and healing to everybody that knew and loved him, including the manosphere. Y'all know I don't really um, agree with a lot of stuff that y'all do and say in the manosphere, if that's still such a thing. But I do um, wish you all condolences because I know at the end of the day, there's a lot of men and women who looked up to Kevin Samuels um, as a godfather, a father figure. I did hear him, you know, sometimes say that, you know, he's kind of teaching people uh, things that their father should have taught them, should've but taught they them. didn't. Mm -hmm. Whether it was something about how to dress. That's one thing I did like about Kevin Samuels. I'll keep he it real. He that dressed. He brought... He bought citizenship, if you will, to the black man in that you don't have to go outside. Same thing, you know, for black women. You know, we always see some of our sisters going out the house. But he impressed upon black men to be presentable, right? To look like you got some damn sense, to smell good, keep your hair right. cut and, you know, all of that. And so I will say I really love that he was making uh, being suited and booted fashionable again. Real quick. Uh, I want to thank everybody because some of these people are, fair, I guess, fairly new. I'm not really recognizing a lot of them that uh, do it. So thank you guys for coming to the show. Please come back. We love having uh, a great discussion with you guys. We we feel that you guys are the co-hosts. But Demetra, in, in regards to Kevin Samuels, do you know who he reminded me of? Who? He reminded me of your dad when your dad was a little younger man because your dad dressed like that and well, smelled like you know had his i mean almost the same exact type stuff and until this very day your dad still does that yes my dad is nation of islam has been that since he was 19 yeah. um it, it well into his 70s now and I don't know what you say that man gonna wear a suit yes wherever he go he gonna wear a suit sometimes we have to tell him daddy we just going to the store i don't <laughs> care i'm putting my suit on so yeah that like i said i did i did like that about kevin that he um made looking like a citizen that's what some yeah. of us ladies call men who got nice haircuts and dress nice and smell good we call we call him looking <laughs> and acting like a citizen so yes i did love that um he yeah. uh, was teaching that to so many um uh, men young and old and you know teaching women now, i'm gonna say this and some people may not like it i did like that he was raising trying to raise the consciousness of black women mm -hmm. and getting our health together. And I've said this before that I, it made sense to me and I'm one of those people kind of health conscious, but I did lose my vigor, for, if you will, for mm -hmm. exercising. And I was like, you know what? He right. Men do like to look at women who are physically fit and look yeah. good. And so I decided mm -hmm. to, you know, start getting going back into the gym and, you know, getting my weight down. And um, I will say that, um, that was largely in part of, you know, what he would say as far as, uh, you know, sisters being overweight and we shouldn't be. Yeah. Um, uh, Grace Richardson, I don't, I, I'm, hi, Grace, if we haven't said hi to you before, she says construct, constructive criticism should be handed constructively. And I agree with you. But for the last 30 or 40 years, we've been as nice as we can be talking to the younger generation, myself being included. I'm a, I'm a child of a baby boomer. Oh, don't say nothing to them. Oh, just, you know, let it go, whatever. You know what I mean? Being nice and stuff, I mean, that ain't working. That ain't working in our community. Well, y'all we know how I, always, how I always say, I mean, you also got to make sure that you have the, the credibility. Sure. And, you know, the trust to say that to certain people. 
Just because you have an opinion as a black man about a black woman, make sure that black woman has your respect before you go and tell her what she needs to do. Because I'm just keeping you up. I'm just yeah. telling you, I know, and I, and I feel like I need to say it enough. So I've said this before. You know, I'm, I'm in communication, so I kind of know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you're saying. If that person does not respect you and you have not earned or built a rapport with that person, they are not going to listen to you. They're just not going to. So when yeah. I hear y'all say, y'all ain't listening to us, first of all, make sure that's your woman and make sure it's a woman that is going to take what you're saying the right way opposed to you being caustic in your delivery. It's never worked. Right, I agree with you. But what I was talking about was generationally how we've been talking to our the next generation. Like, so if you've got single mothers who are uh, have kids that are having children, like you have a son, well, I'm gonna let it slide. It's okay, baby, whatever. No, we can't do that anymore. It's not working. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a man talking to a woman. I'm talking about women talking to women and men talking to men. I think that we need to start be, uh, being direct and telling them the truth versus the bullshit and letting shit slide. That's what I'm talking about. So uh, I agree with Grace. Constructive criticism should be handed constructive, constructively if somebody's going to receive it that way. But we know a lot of these young people, they don't listen. I was one of them growing up myself. But thank God I had a parent that gave it to me with no chaser, straight with no chaser. There you go. And start with your own children. You know, yeah. reach back to the teachings of Big Mama and, yeah. big, you know, and our great granddaddies. Yeah. And, and our grandparents, and you know, I'm old enough to where my mom taught those things and my dad taught those things. We need to reach mm -hmm. back to those old school teachings and teach men and women how to be that, how to be respectable to each other, how to listen, because God gave us two ears and one mouth for a reason, so you can listen more. And I'm going to say this sometimes, sisters, yes, we do talk too much. Yes, we need to listen a little bit more. And, you know, again, I'm going to say this to the brothers, sure. get in the position where that woman will be all ears to you, right? Mm -hmm. Earn her respect and women, give them a break. You know, if they're trying their best, give them a break. Allow him to try to lead you because as I said, black men and women are going to save our race. And if we don't get together, our race, it will be like dinosaurs. They'll be mm -hmm. finding our bones on the sands and mud piles thousands of years from now. So Y'all can do what y'all want to do with that, honey. Do how you doing? Mm -hmm. and Ar hey, the arson's in, is in the chat. Well, welcome, arson. All right, coming on over. Where? Oh, he's low, he's lower in the chat, but you know oh, he's one of our longtime watchers and listeners and stuff, all yeah. the way up in Canada. Yes, indeed. So, all right, y'all. We will see y'all on uh, Sunday live. We're here it's live Sundays, five o'clock p.m. Central Time. Uh, so yeah, you guys. Uh, horrible situation. If it's true. Um, R.I.P. to uh, Kevin Samuels if he is gone and uh, uh, much love and respect and uh, comfort to his family. So you guys, we'll see y'all later. Yes. Wait, and, and real quick before we go and, and you're new here, please do us a favor, like, share and subscribe. We would love to see you. And that way you can get a, a, a indication, hopefully, if we're not a shadow band which is what YouTube and a lot of social media platforms do so that we don't have these discussions. And so uh, you'll get an alert when Demetra goes live and you could come join us in the chat and give us your opinion. And uh, we, we just ch uh, chop it up, you know, on, on Sundays, 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We would love to have you come out and uh, chat with us. And even if you got some ideas for something to, for us to talk about, we would love to do that as well. So if you're new, welcome, 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 and please come back. Yes, indeed. And Donald, I want to leave on that point, too, is like you said, he did always say get counseling. Um, counseling is so important. I, too, went to counseling. Um, I did hear him say that a lot. Um, I went uh, partially because I heard him say that a lot. And I went because I really needed to because I was struggling with some things. And I will tell you all, I feel like a much better human uh, mentally that I did go. So counseling is not because you didn't ran across the freeway somewhere <laughs> or anything right. like that. Counseling is for ordinary people who just need to sort out some things, maybe unload some childhood traumas or things that they just haven't learned how to let go of. So I recommend it. Most of the times it's free throughout the community. If you have health insurance, even if you don't, you could get counseling for free. And so I impress upon everybody to try it out. 
you'll be amazed on how uh, you'll see life differently. Yeah, and, and, and let me co-sign on that. Do you guys know it has been medically proven that 70% uh, of Black people in the United States suffer from PTSD, a form of PTSD, be it uh, violence in, in a physical sense or living in a, in a, a combative environment? So yeah, uh, counseling is very important. And unfortunately, it's stigmatized in our community, and, and it shouldn't be. Uh, go get that help if you need the help. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, as a veteran, they made me go to this uh, counseling group. I was in the wrong group. As you guys see, I was in the Air Force. I'm in this group with Vietnam killers telling, me, telling us their stories. I got traumatized in the group. But the little things that I had to do being in combat, it did help me um, adjust in society and give myself a perspective on where I fit within this society. Yes, indeed. All right, y'all. So y'all have a good evening. We took off enough of your time. Be blessed and, you know, tell somebody you love them today because you don't know when it'll be the last time you see them. So see y'all later. Peace.